Hey guys, so today I am sharing with you some drama that I had with a family that I was babysitting for. So the last week of July I met a new family and they wanted me to babysit their kids. And you know I met them one day um, and then they had me come babysit their kids basically all day Saturday. Um, Saturday the 25th or something like that, 27th, something like that. Um, so anyway, so I met with them, I babysat their kids that first Saturday, all day. Um, I told them my rate was $8, but they said they were going to pay me $12 an hour, which, you know, I wasn't going to argue with that, fine, whatever. They were, um, very well off and they could afford to do that, so I wasn't going to argue. That first day, oh my gosh, like, it was a good day. The kids and I got along really well. The kids fought a bit and I had to like separate them and have them work out their differences. And that's no big deal. I'm used to that. We did have a tornado that day and I've never experienced severe weather like that while babysitting. And, I babys I've, and I've been babysitting several years now since I was like in high school. I've never had a tornado warning. So trying to keep the kids calm during that was a lot. But you know, we got through it. They asked if I'd be willing to babysit again and I said yes. Well, Wednesday, the mom texted me um, early in the morning. I think it was about 8 o'clock in the morning. And she's like, hey, would you mind coming in for a few hours to watch the kids while I get some stuff down around the house and run some errands? I was like, sure, yeah, I'll do that. Um, so I did. Um, so I came in for about four hours. It was no big deal. Um, so I did that. And then when I, um, and then at the end of that day, or at the end of those four hours, she's like, hey, my husband and I want to go on a date day. Can you come watch them all Saturday? And it was, she's like, from about 8.30 to 9 o'clock at night. I was like, sure, I can do that, no problem. So I went to their house on Saturday, July 30th, and at 8.30, they ended up not even leaving till 10 o'clock, and I was like, okay, I got up super early to get to Dubuque to watch these kids. Okay, whatever. And the mom was like, hey, do you mind taking our son to go pick up his football gear. Um, they're doling, the youth league is handing it out today and since we're gone, we can't go get it. I was like, sure, I can do that, no problem. Um, I try to be accommodating, that kind of thing. We get to the area where they're handing out the football gear and it took us an hour. It was so disorganized. We were one of the first people there and the coaches did not help us at all and I didn't have these this kid's sizes and I don't know how to size a kid for football gear and it was just it was very frustrating but we got through it so after we went to the football registration we went to the country club where they have a membership and went to the pool we were there for five hours which they had a really good time for once they weren't fighting it was really good so we went home we were gonna go home play Monopoly eat some dinner well, we got home and we were, we stumbled upon a situation. So the family had just gotten a new puppy the week before. It was actually the same Saturday I watched their kids for the first time. They brought home a new puppy. And with pup, new puppies, of course, potty training is a challenge. I know this. I've had puppies before. Um, so that wasn't really an issue. The puppy, since the puppy had been in its crate for a very long time because we were out of the house, um, the puppy had taken a little crap in its cage. Well, not a little crap. It was a big honking pile of poo. And the dog had rolled all over in it and stepped in it. It got everywhere. It was all over the cage. It had gotten out of the cage and onto the floor. It smelled terrible. You could smell it from the master bedroom all the way downstairs. So... The kids started freaking out. They were gagging and throwing up and not willing to help me. And it was a big job. Like I needed their help to get the dog out of the house because it was a big puppy. It was a golden retriever. So it was a big dog um, for being a puppy. And they were freaking out and the poop got everywhere. just all over the master and bedroom floor. They had hardwood floors. So I was trying to clean it up. So I was trying to get them to hold down the dog so I could wipe off his paws so we could walk him downstairs and go outside. So they're freaking out and I'm telling them it's okay. I'm like, okay guys, it's fine. And I'm talking to the dog to try to get the dog to calm down because the dog's freaking out. 
And the, the daughter asked me, she's like, you're not going to quit over this, are you? I'm like, no, this is not the dog's fault. It's fine. I've dealt with worse when babysitting because last summer when I was a nanny, I was a nanny for people who had a bunch of horses and one of their horses got sick and almost died. And so I, I had to deal with that. So this was like not the worst thing I've ever had to deal with. Um, the problem I ran into was they did not have a mop and bucket. So I had no way of cleaning up this poop that was all over the floor. So I went downstairs. Their mother, uh, their grandmother lives in a mother-in-law suite in their house. Um, she has, um, she's an amputee, so she is missing a leg. And I knocked on her door and I'm like, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Do you have a mop or a bucket um, or anything? The dog, this is what happened with the dog. I just, I'm not quite sure what to do. She's like, oh, I don't have one. I don't know where they keep theirs. I was asking the kids. Turns out they didn't even have a mop and bucket. And so the grandma asked me what I was going to do. I'm like, I don't know. This is a little out of my job description. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. Which I was just really frustrated. And I didn't think anything of saying this is out of my job description. I'm not sure what to do because I did take care of the situation. Um, so anyway... Um, I found some wet Swiffer pads. They didn't have a Swiffer, but they had the Swiffer pads. Don't ask me why. Um, so <laughs> I used the Swiffer pads to clean up all the poo, and I threw those away. I took the dog outside, um, took the crate outside to get the smell out. And when they came home, I told them what happened. And they are like, okay, that's okay. Thank you for taking care of that well. The mother texted me about half hour after I left, and she was like, my mother-in-law said that you said you weren't making enough money to be dealing with my dog's poo. You know, we pay you $4 more than you asked for. I didn't think this would be a problem. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like taken aback. And I texted her back and I'm like, listen, I'm really sorry. That's not what I said. I said that this wasn't in my job description, that I wasn't sure what to do. Obviously, I took care of the problem. I didn't say that you weren't paying me enough. I'm very grateful for what you do pay me. I'm grateful that you asked me to babysit as often as you do. I'm just very lucky that I'm working with you right now and I never heard back from her. So I don't think that I'm ever going to hear back from them. I just don't think I'm ever gonna hear back from them. And honestly, honestly, her husband made a really rude comment to me as well that night. So the backstory on the father's rude comment, earlier that day, somebody dropped off a yard sign for a political campaign, um, somebody who's running for Iowa congressman. And the kids asked me, hey, who, are, who do you want to win for president? And I'm like, okay, I can, I'll tell them, you know, no big deal. I'm like, oh, I'm hoping Hillary Clinton wins. I like a lot of her ideals and I really don't like Donald Trump. And I didn't think that was a big deal. Um, I should know better not to talk about politics. Um, and I don't want any hate from anybody, okay? Hmm. Um, so anyway, you know, the dad was paying me. And so the son runs up to the dad and as he's paying me, and says, Dad, she's voting for Hillary Clinton. He takes the money that he just gave me out of my hand and says, sorry, this has to go for all the people on welfare who don't get off their lazy asses. And I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Okay, because first of all, that's a rude comment to make regardless, but you don't know my situation because if you did, you would know that my family was on welfare most of my life and worked their asses off while on welfare, but you shouldn't make that comment anyway. Like, it doesn't matter if you're Republican. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat. You don't make a general statement like that, but not only that, but to take money out of somebody's hand that you just paid them is totally rude. Like his wife made him give me the money back, but I was so pissed. Like really? You don't, you don't do that. That's rude. Honestly, if they were to call me to babysit for them again, I don't think I would. I don't care how well they pay. I don't care how much I need the money. I will not work for somebody who, who, tr you know, acts that way. That's just, that's awful. So, so that was my horrendous crazy experience. Yeah, I probably said something wrong. I, I mean, in my mind, I don't think what I said was wrong, but it honestly could be misconstrued as wrong, and I realize that, but the behavior of the husband really set me off, and it's something that I'm going to shrug off and say, hey, it was a great week. I made a lot of money, but it's never going to happen again, and honestly, um, you know, I start student teaching in three weeks, so I'm not too concerned about 
um, trying to find time to babysit for these people. So the only problem I really find with it is if there was a day where I didn't have to teach and they were to call me, I would have wanted to. Um, when they interviewed me, a bunch of their friends interviewed me at the same time. They were recommending me to their friends. I lost those recommendations. So that's just kind of my story, kind of what happened, my experience. It was crazy. Um, that's just kind of what happens when you babysit for people off care.com. You don't know the type of family you're going to be working with. If you like story times like this, give it a thumbs up and I will do some more. I have a ton of stories I could share. Um, my memory chip is about to fill up. I have two minutes left. It's telling me I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye guys.